New tonight, take a look at this video from Matthews. You see two snakes that drop from the ceiling sliding around in this bathtub. Year after year, we're warned about mm. the presence of snakes as the weather gets warmer, but it turns out they can also do a lot of damage that you might not consider. Today, Duke Energy workers were busy fixing a major power outage because of a snake. NBC Charlotte's Xavier Walton joins us now with those details. Xavier, does this happen often? Fred, Sarah, believe it or not, it happens more often than you might actually think. So much so that Duke Energy actually took some precautionary me measures right here at their, this power station, right behind the Bank of America Stadium. Snakes sparking power outages in the Carolinas. They will do anything to get in. In Fayetteville Tuesday, reports say a snake was to blame for thousands being in the dark. In the Carolinas, trees are the number one cause of power outages, but Duke Energy says snakes and other animals are also a common culprit. Duke Energy sent NBC Charlotte this statement in part saying snakes are active in the summer, so we typically see an increase in outages due to snake related activity. I saw it and then as I got closer, I knew it was a giant snake. Like the temperatures, snake sightings are on the rise. Right there, that's a 12 foot black snake in Lowell. Then there's this viral photo of a black snake swallowing a copperhead in Forsyth County. At last check, it's been shared more than 18,000 times and has more than 1,400 likes. Two years ago, this was the snake seen in Morganton. To prevent this from happening more, Duke Energy installed special fencing with a mesh-like material to prevent snakes and other animals from entering some substations. If the animal gets in and actually causes damage that would um, damage the equipment, we would have to replace it and make repairs that could go on for several hours. Now, today's outage actually only took within an hour, but like you heard just there, it could take several hours. You mix in this extreme heat that we're expecting. It could be a, an extremely bad combination. Reporting live, I'm Xavier Walton for NBC Charlotte. Xavier, thank you.